Hello, today I'm here with a new video and today I am here with a ranking video. So I am going through my 8 palettes from Juvia's Place and I'm going to rank them from the bottom to the top. And I saw this first at Paulina's channel, I can leave her channel up here and her video down in the description. And then I saw Annette do this and I really want to do it. And I will of course leave Annette up here and down in the description. So I have 8 Juvia's Place palettes and I am I have ranked them and that was so freaking hard. I think I have decided. So I will start from the bottom. I didn't know if I wanted to start from the top or from the bottom, but I think I've decided to start from the bottom. So and I'm going to talk a little bit about the palettes, why they are in the place they are, and yeah, this was so hard. So the palette I like the least. I don't hate any of those palettes, but this is the one that I like the least. And I think you may know which one it is. It is the Doucet palette. I've done three looks one palette with this one. And it looks like this. The one thing where I... Maybe I should scooch a little bit. Or not because I have a mirror there. Okay. So the thing I don't... That makes this palette come in the bottom is... I don't think this has the used place quality. Simple as that. It is a good palette, but it's not a good palette for being a UVS Place palette. And if you ever have tried UVS Place, I think you know what I'm talking about. I like some of these colors, but it absolutely is not performing as my other UVS Place. So they, that is why they come at last place. I think though it's a little bit boring, because I think this color store is pretty unique for UVS Place, or for anybody. So that's a little bummer, but I don't like it as much as I like my other ones. And maybe I should scooch, maybe I should just move the mirror a little bit. On the seventh place is the Saharan by UVS. I like this palette as well. This was one of their first palettes. It looks like this. It has some amazing shades. And this has the typical UVS place quality. But I just, I just don't know. The one thing I don't like about this so much, I don't think it has enough matte shadows. And it only have four matte shadows. So it's this one and this one. I think they're pretty like. And then the black one and the brown one. And I just, I don't get so inspired to do a look when I... Look at this, the shimmers are great in this palette, but it's not so often I only do a shimmer look. So that's why it comes on 7th place. It is a good palette, and if you like these colors, buy it because it is really good. But it's not like, I don't pick this up and like, yeah, I know exactly what I want to do. Place number 6, and this was also hard, and I am not sure if this is the correct order of them because it feels like these through place 3 to 7 I like them equally but it is the Saharan 2 palette I love this as well because I love all my UVs except the Duse palette it looks like this the only thing I don't it, it's the same with this as with the Saharan it has only 3 matte shadows and I feel a little bit limited only using this palette it feels like the looks you're creating are pretty similar or maybe that's just me I don't know but this palette has some amazing shades this shade is amazing this shade is amazing this shade is amazing all of the shades are amazing but it's not like I really don't know what to do of course I can come up with looks with this but it's not like when I look at it some palettes, you know, you get like three or four looks just by looking at it. I don't get it from this. But this is so, so good. Place number five. It's the mini masquerade or the masquerade. I have the mini version. It looks like this. One thing I like about this palette is that it is colorful up here. From here and up. And from here and down, it's a neutral palette. The one thing though I don't like, it's not so many colorful mattes in this one. It's only this one and this one. 
and that's the color for matte. This orange shade is also matte, but it's not that colorful. So this, I think this is a super good palette to start with if you want to try colors. But for me that always, almost always use colors, it's a little bit limited. So that's a little bit boring because it feels like this is a typical pop of color palette, if you know what I mean. The shadows are amazing in this one as well. They are really nice this color and this Cairo. I love this one. I did a collab with Alessandra. We picked each other's shade from this one. It was so fun and I like working with this. But I want more matte colorful shadows. Okay, so palette number four is the Magic Palette by Uvius. This is so freaking big. I wished I bought the mean one because this is so freaking huge. It looks like this. I don't use this enough. This was one of the first I bought from Uvius and I really like this one. The one thing in this one as well, I think it's got two little matte color colors. It has these two and this, this, this and this. But I want something... Maybe like one of these greens could be matte instead. But else this is a super nice palette and this gold one, it's one of the best golds I have. So I love this palette. It's almost perfection. Almost. It's a really, really good palette and I think you should have this if you have UVS, but yeah. It's such a nice palette. I maybe should do a video on it soon, I don't know. Maybe I only have one video when I did my UVS Place Week. I don't know, but this is such a nice palette. But if you're going to buy it, buy the mini version because you see this is big as fuck. The mini version is like this and this is enough, this is too big. Okay, so third place. It feels like I am ranking this palette higher than others and it's the festival palette and I need to use this more as well. I really love... I really love this. In my use place week I used all the shadows for one look and I used this palette and that look turned out pretty good. Not just pretty good, it went so freaking well. I was a little bit surprised and I really love this and this one, these two red shades and this blue is amazing and also this pink and I really love this one. So this palette I need to use more, I don't know what to do with it. If maybe palette bingo with this as well or something, but I really love this. And it feels like a lot of people raved about this when it came. But now people are like, I don't get it. I don't get this palette. I don't like it that much, but I really love it. I think it mostly has to do with this red shades, but this is a really, really nice one. And I, I think this has my favorite packaging because I love orange and I love red. And the runner-up. Okay, if you know me, you know my channel, I think you know which two palettes are left. So if you want, you can guess and not cheat. So you can pause a little bit, guess which is number two. So I hold a little. So the runner-up is Tribe by U.S. The Tribe by U.S. When I first tried it, I was amazed. Uh, I did three looks, one palette. I did one of my absolute favorite looks ever in that three looks, one palette. And I just... This is a super amazing palette. I want to bend this back as well. I love like all the shades in this. It is a unique, amazing color story. I love that it both is an orange palette and green palette because I love orange. I love green very much. I'm starting to do. So this is perfect palette and I green and orange is an amazing combination. So this is such an amazing palette and like this shade it's so unique and it's like grungy, cool, dark, mustard brown. I really don't know how to describe it. But this palette is amazing and this shimmery 
it's also one of my absolute favorite colors ever. So I really, really, really love this. I am so glad that I finally bought it. So that was the runner up. So in first place, we have the Solo Zulu palette. This was, I think it was my first rainbow palette and I have done this look today with this palette. I love this palette. This is this made me, I don't remember if this was my first or the magic was my first or if I bought them at the same time. I can't remember. But this was my first rainbow palette and I fell in love with Uvias when I tried this. I love this so freaking much. This is absolutely one of my favorite palettes. This was my... I can't remember which category but this was one of the best palette for me in 2018. I don't know what the brown shade is doing here and I, it feels like everybody says it but we need to get UVS to understand that the brown one and this was a mistake. I think it should have been a red one. Then I would love this even more. I didn't know if possible but if it was a red one I would love it even more. So, this is my absolute favorite Juvia's Place palette. This is one of my absolute favorite palettes I have. This is an amazing palette. If you want something colorful, buy this. It is cheap. It is super good quality. The shimmers in, these, in this palette is amazing. I love, love, love this palette. So, yeah. That was the ranking of my Juvia's Place palettes. Did you get right? Did you get wrong? Do you disagree with me or do you agree with me? It would be so fun to know and I really hope you liked this video. And if you want me to rank some of my other palettes, please let me know. Um, I wonder which brands that I have like a possibility to rank. Um, I could maybe do like Colourpop. I have some of their palettes and... Linda Halleberry, but it's not like eyeshadow palettes, they're equal to each other. And I have Blush Tribe I could do as well. And I think I have those brands. I don't have so many palettes from other brands. So yeah, I really hope you liked this video and please tell me what do you think, which is your favorite US Place palette and which is your least favorite US Place palettes. So yeah, that was all for this video. I really hope you liked it. And if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos. And I hope I will see you in the next one. Bye!